Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Aries. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Aries and it will not resonate with every Aries cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Aries or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right. What is going on with my Aries Collective? What do they need to know at this time? All right. King of Swords in reverse. The Tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. So with the King of Swords in reverse, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the Tower, which is Scorpio energy. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius and Pisces in energy. The Ace of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups. Strength in reverse. Leo energy. Back of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. So something is not progressing. Something isn't manifesting. There's delays. Um, somebody could be no longer waiting for something as well. Could be because of fears. Fear could be um, blocking or delaying a situation or keeping someone from making a decision about something, taking action. Somebody's definitely trying to... Stubborn. Somebody's definitely stubborn. Um, somebody is just unable to see how their lack of decisiveness, their lack of clarity, um, their need to control everything and manipulate is causing them to stay. It's causing them bad fortune. It's causing them to... It's bringing in a lot. It's yeah. It's it's causing them bad fortune. I don't know how else to say it, but it's like somebody is not making the decision to leave something or to change something that they need to, and it's like they're not learning their lesson. They're st sticking in karmic cycles that they need to leave. They need to learn the lesson from them and close those cycles out. But this person is being very resistant. All right. Um, they're like they don't see the truth about something, or they don't have the clarity. And I feel like it's like a lot of fear here. Somebody has a huge fear of change. So they're staying in cycles that are no longer serving them because they're afraid of getting out of their comfort zone. They're afraid of, you know, yeah, they're afraid of change. They're afraid, they're afraid of taking a leap of faith here into the unknown. What does the Ace of Cups in Reverse have to do with Aries? Ace of Cups in Reverse. What does this mean for Aries? Yeah, there's like a lack of commitment here, a lack of a new beginning in love or, yeah, somebody let you down because they weren't committing to you. Tell me what this means for whoever this is. Okay, they're ready to react and do what? What are they going to do here? Okay, so now somebody wants to talk. Why is somebody wanting to talk now? Maybe because something, they have finally, there's a cycle that's closing out here. Yeah, they're leaving some type of, toxic situation detaching from something now healing from it they, somebody's finally learning their lesson so you guys were dealing with someone that was had a lot of bad like a lot of bad luck things were not going this person's way and it was because they were refusing to close out cycles they were refusing to leave things behind that no longer served them they were wanting to clean to control they were afraid of the unknown they were afraid of change but i definitely see that What's the Hierophant in reverse mean for Aries, the Empress? What does this mean for Aries? You guys are like kind of like trying to be courageous. I feel like you guys are trying to maybe embark on something new and you're trying to release this person. 
Um, I feel like this person though, who's not who, who hasn't been talking to you, they're they're gonna come out of no they're gonna come out of no contact here, wanting to talk. They've had some type of breakthrough. They finally have that clarity. They finally see see something now. They have a new yeah, they're they're having some type of breakthrough here. And it may be because something else in their life, they're finally closing out some type of cycle or something here. Something is has ended. What does this cycle ending or this ending or this closing something coming to completion mean for them and Aries? What does this mean for Aries? Yeah, I feel like this person's about to come. Yeah. What does this mean for them? What does this mean for them? The two of wands and okay. That doesn't make sense. Why are they not investing in this? Death. What's this mean for this connection? They don't have the ability to commit to you right now. Why is that? Why is that? Because they haven't. Yeah. Yeah. They're stuck on some type of past situation. They're still giving to some type of past situation that they haven't walked away from yet. This person's still trying to make up their mind about what they want to do here. Yeah. I, why do I see them like they feel stuck right now? This person did something dumb. Like they maybe went back into a cycle that they should have went back into. They went back and repeated a, 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 the same mistake or something. Like they, they, they are being taught a lesson here. And they went back and they did the same thing. And now they're stuck. They could have went back to a situation because they hadn't learned their lesson. Sometimes people need to go back to a situation to learn their lesson. Like they still hadn't learned. So they went back. But I still see them trying to make up their mind about something here. Which is going to make them... Like this, this relationship or this connection did have potential, but this person is about to miss out on an opportunity here because they, goodness, I do see like this per like a making of amends here. There, there was some type of conflict, disagreement, so, like something that happened between you and a person. Somebody does want to apologize or make amends here. What does this mean for Aries? The King of Cups. Okay, what about this King of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. What does this mean for Aries? Five of Cups. What's mean for this person? Okay, and what are they seeing things like now? What is this? What does this mean for this connection? Why is it? See, it's not progressing though. Something's not. Why is this? Why is it still not progressing though? I just feel like. I just don't feel like somebody is in the in a place right now. Like this person has gotten very clear about how they feel about you. Like they know that they want to make things right with you. They know that they like they see everything very clearly when it comes to you. But I feel like this person It's time for this person to make a decision. And I feel like this person feels like they can't make one or they just cannot make up their damn mind. This person is lacking confidence in their decision making because I feel like this person made a really dumb decision recently. They maybe made the decision to go back into a toxic situation or they feel like they always end up in toxic situations. So I feel like this person lacks or this person doesn't feel good enough for you. Yeah, they don't feel good enough for you for some of you. They're doubting themselves. They have low self-esteem. So I feel like this person, for some reason, does not feel like they have the ability to offer you something long-term and stable right now, but they're very clear on how they view you. Like, they know what you are to them, but they're just not doing anything about it. Why is this person not making a decision? Okay, why are they not coming in with this offer? It's just because they're not happy right now. This person's a little bit lazy too. Like, what about justice? They could be maybe ending another relationship. They could be going through a divorce. Yeah, they're going through some type of painful ending and trying to move on from something here. But I feel like once they do that, you're going to hear from them. But 
they're still going to be holding back on the commitment for whatever reason. Why is that? They're in the process of leaving something else behind. I do see them wanting to offer something to you, but just feeling like right now. They do have feelings for you, but they're not happy within themselves. Are they going to take any action towards Aries? Are they taking action towards Aries? Are they taking action? No, they're not. They're not. Are they taking action? Okay. Two of cups. Okay. And the world was kind of trying to show itself. Let's see here. Are they taking any action towards Aries? One more card to clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups. I feel like they're going to tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the world. What does this mean for their connection with Aries? Okay, what are we going to do about this? They're going to wait until what? They're just afraid. They're afraid to come towards you. I feel like there's, there's a third party in the mix. There's somebody else that they're trying to free themselves from. I see them freeing themselves from this situation. Once they, they do feel this connection with you, they do love you. Once they free themselves from this connection, what are they going to do in regards to the connection that they have with Aries? The King of Pentacles. They want to connect, commit to you. Yeah. They want to settle down. They want to be stable for you. What about the two Pentacles Rivers? Unfinished lessons with you. Yeah. This person's just not in a place to be able to commit to you. They're trying to figure out how they can have some type of new beginning with you. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how they... I feel like they want to have a, a, a... Just start clean with you. Have a clean slate. Or that's what they're thinking. Like, if they come in and say, like, can we just start from the beginning? Can we start over? But, you know, if you have history with this person, you know. Whew. It's like someone's fear of change is about to make them miss out on, op on an opportunity for true love or their fear of change is just blocking a new beginning from happening right now. It's like this is blocked. Dead end. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I feel like... So you guys are choosing to release this person and walk away from them. I already saw energy of that. You've reached a dead end. Choose to leave with dig dignity and strength and get unstuck in love. Family issues. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. And it, the Ten of Cups was in reverse. It's not a happy family situation. It's like there, there's dis, like there's there's conflict in a family situation. It's toxic. Family responsibilities are holding them back. Maybe a marriage. Tell me more. All is well. So, but Spirit wants you to know that everything is happening with it, the way that it's supposed to. Everything is playing out from the way you know the way that it just detached for now, detached from outcomes. Yeah, you have a choice to make here. They are going to work with the courage to express something to you, to come forward to you. But I told you, there's a third party in the mix. They're involved with someone else who they feel obligated to. But I do see this person returning. But it's like they have to, they have some less karmic lessons to learn first. But Spirit says that when they do return, you will be able to trust them and they will have changed. They're going to come in, seeing if, how you feel about them, seeing if you're still interested, if there's still something between the two of you. All right, seeing if you still feel the same way. But I told you, this person's not coming they're not going to be in a good place when they come towards you or just spirit wants you to know that right now this person is just not in a good place but i still get this energy of this person coming towards you wanting to be with you viewing you as wish, wish fulfillment feeling this feeling this connection with you but them not being in a good place when they come towards you but they know that nobody compares to you they know that they're not going to find another you so when this person returns how is that going to turn out if they're coming towards my aries collective in that type of energy how is this going to turn out when they do return how is it? I just say you will be able to trust them. They're not going to be aligned. Yeah, look at this. The spark is gone. Yeah, I don't know, guys. So it's not going to work out for them when they first and come back. Correct. This is just a dead end situation. Yeah, I see. feel like you guys are going to choose to move away from this person. Yeah, I feel like it was maybe hard for you to release this person. But I do feel like you're, you're, you're finally making the decision here to cut cords with this person, to let them go. Realizing you deserve better. I'm telling you, but this person is going to come back. 
Like this person maybe walked away from this, but they're going to return because it's a faded connection. Yeah, like. Yeah, they're going to end up choosing you. And then you're going to have to make it. It's like they're trying to choose between you and a third party. They're going to end up choosing you. After much thought, they decided to be with you instead of their other option. They're going to come back towards you, okay? And they're going to work with the courage to express something to you. Because whatever they had going on or that they were trying to work on, it's not going to make them happy, all right? They, they, they're, it's not going to work out well. So they're going to come in wanting to take things slow with you. And how is that going to turn out? See, it's just like this person, it's going to maybe take a couple years for this situation to come together. So this person has a huge ego. But yeah, I was getting this. This is your twin. If there was any doubt, they are your twin flame and they're ready for union. They may try to approach you like and be like, hey, let's have a clean slate. You know, let's take things slow. Let's start try to build a friendship or something. They want to come, they're going to come in and want to give it a fair chance or something at some point. Hmm, what's going to happen with them in this third party that they're obligated to, though? I feel like they're going to let that person go. Like they're walking away from that. So th th that's probably like a soulmate that they were dealing with. Driven by jealousy. Huh, this is not making sense. <laughs> hmm, let's see here. One card, what's going to go down between them and this third party? Yeah, they're going to end up choosing you. We have, you are the number one dominated in the situation and your person is choosing you. There's going to be a separation. They're going to separate from that other person. The masculine is going to choose to separate from the situation that they were staying in out of convenience, even though that they had love for you, but they were afraid to leave their comfort zone and they were trying, they were going back and forth. Couldn't make a decision between staying in their comfort zone or being with you. Yeah. I see them trying to come back and recover this. I see a reconciliation. What about the rival? Yeah, there's this other person here. What about this other person? They were maybe secretly trying to, they were secretly maybe. Why are they, what kind of encounters? Secret meetings with them, why? Children, something to do with the kids. Why is secret meetings here for the third, the other person? The heart leads. All right, what's this mean for this third party? What's this mean for this third party? What's this mean for Aries and this person? I don't know, guys. This is crazy. I don't know. They could have been secretly still associating with this other person. But I feel like that's changing. Yeah, it's like that's that's changing here with the transformation card. All right, let's get you some guidance. Or maybe. Hmm. More was going on between the two of them than you knew or something. Advice for Aries dealing with this situation. We have summer. What you seek will find you in the summertime. A time of joy, happiness, adventure, and no hiding. We have change. I told you things are changing, but it says be willing to let go of what you plan to have the light that is waiting for you. So spirit saying release this person. All right. We have divine timing is at play. Release them. And if it's meant to be, it'll be have patience as nothing can occur until the conditions are completely ready. Trust in divine timing. One more card for my Aries in this situation. We have fertility. This is a perfect time to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, or give birth to a new abundant life. We have treasure. An unexpected windfall will soon be yours. You will, you will feel it. You have it all. An auspicious time. Yeah. You may not understand how things are going to work out in this situation or what's going to happen. But Spirit says focus on yourself right now. Um, and follow your heart. Okay. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading. And what else was I going to say? 
Oh, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.